Let's now bring in CBS's chief election and campaign correspondent, Robert Costa. All right, Robert, a blowout for Donald Trump in Iowa. What does this mean now for Nikki Haley, Ron DeSantis? Does Nikki Haley get more aggressive? Uh, she might get more aggressive, but this is a make or break week for Ambassador Haley. With the debate now canceled this week, she's going to lose an opportunity to generate traction in New Hampshire. Debates have, have been the way she's gotten so far in this race to become someone who's close to being the rudder up to Trump in, in a lot of these polls. But now, can she really get a coalition of independents, Democrats, and traditional Republicans? That's an open question, and she doesn't have a big moment on the calendar at this point. Last night, Donald Trump, in his victory speech in Iowa, was conciliatory. He was talking about bringing people together, an intentional shift. It's a message, but it's also a strategy. Talking to Trump's top advisors today, they say they're pushing the whole Republican Party to coalesce. They want this race over, Nora. They don't want DeSantis lingering. They don't want Haley in this race uh, up until Super Tuesday. They believe with his commanding victory in Iowa, he can now storm ahead in New Hampshire. And South Carolina is no guarantee for Ambassador Haley. It's become Trump country since she was governor. And you point that out about New Hampshire. Even if Nikki Haley were to have a good uh, primary there in New Hampshire, a win or a close second, then South Carolina. But then March 5th is Super Tuesday. Doesn't it get nearly impossible for any challenger to Donald Trump then? The, the window is very much closing for Ambassador Haley, but some of the biggest Republican donors in the country tell me they're ready to pour millions behind Haley's campaign. The challenge for her is this is a transformed Republican Party. Despite January 6th, despite Trump's legal challenges, she's not taking them on because she knows most Republican voters don't care. All right, Robert Costa, following the heartbeat of this campaign, thank you so much. Thank you.